This is crazy. This is insulting. Disturbing. It's, it's, it's wrong. It's, get out of here. A Washington County man, a U.S. citizen, says he was racially profiled by ICE agents outside the county courthouse, and it was all caught on camera. This is now making national news. Point six News at 11. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. That man was at court because his wife had a hearing, and it just so happened there was a protest there against this very thing, ICE agents targeting courthouses. Our Andrew Dimbert talked to the man about the confrontation. This is crazy. This is insulting. Disturbing. It's, it's, it's wrong. Isidro Andarre Tafoya is a U.S. citizen, has been for over 20 years. But on Monday, he wasn't treated like one. Do you have What's any identification? Do you have What's any identification? Why, why this video shows Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agents, or ICE, cornering Isidro outside of the Washington County Courthouse, pressing him for his name and identification, even though he had done nothing wrong. Then the lady said, can we get your ID? Do you have ID with you? And I said, yeah, I got ID, but who are you? Isidro says he had no idea what was going on and that the agents, dressed in street clothes, never told him they were with ICE. None of them had the courtesy to say even a name. Eventually, the ICE agents explained to Isidro that they thought he was someone else they were looking to detain, and when they showed him a picture of that other person, Isidro says they looked nothing alike. No resemblance other than the skin color. The two-minute interaction ended when Isidro says another ICE agent wearing a badge showed up, looked at the picture of who ICE was really looking for, and announced it wasn't Isidro. It's not the guy. Let's get out of here. The agents left in a hurry, but the damage already done. Seeing it happen to others, but now that it happened to me, I can't say it. It's, there's no word to say it. At the same time Isidro was being questioned by ICE agents without a warrant, there was a demonstration taking place just steps away at the same courthouse where people were protesting against this kind of action by ICE. We are marching. They're just apprehending folks. Oftentimes they're not showing warrants, and people don't know if they're going to go back and see their children. Despite Isidro committing no crime, having valid U.S. citizenship, and those ICE officers seen in the video not stating who they were or their business, ICE still stands by its tactics. In a statement, the agency says, quote, In this instance, our officers went to a specific location seeking a particular individual and interacted with someone whom they believed resembled our arrest target. It turned out the man was not the target and no further action was taken. Isidro says he feels lucky that he didn't end up in a holding cell at the ICE facility all the way up in Tacoma, Washington, like so many others. But he's left grappling with the reality that this could happen to anyone, even his children someday. They're born here, U.S. citizens, but they have brown skin. All the traits of a Latino person. I'm just in fear that this would happen to them. Andrew Dimbert in Washington County for Coin Six News. Andrew mentioned that detective.